Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted and we're back for another VGC 2020 team builder. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a competitive VGC player and I'm sure you guys are new to the channel because you're looking to get into competitive well, you've come to the right place. I try to put out daily competitive content as, you know, as, as much as I can. I, I do my best to do daily, but sometimes I fall short of that. I'll do my best though, I swear. Uh, but if you guys are interested in that, this is the team builder video for you. I'm going to be building a team around Phalanx today. So if you enjoyed that at any point in time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and check this guy out. So Phalanx, I recently did a strategy guide on and had a couple of move sets for him. Well, I actually figured Phalanx would fit really well on sand offense. And the reason being is because Phalanx is able to switch in uh, and also deter opponents from wanting to go for Intimidate onto my Excadrill or Tyranitar because of the Defiant ability. Now, if they decide to try to even Intimidate anything else in the field, they're going to end up giving my Phalanx plus one attack, which on top of something like, uh, on top of something like, what's that move called? No Retreat. Uh, that's actually really, really huge because I'm going to be able to put out insane amounts of damage. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go with that move set uh, where I'm outspeeding base 100s. So I completely forgot what that was. I need to check Charizard. I need to check out Charizard because he is base 100. Max speed, timid, 167. So I need to beat 167 at 1. 1.5. Go ahead and close these. So 167. Well, I guess 168. But by 1.5 will give me what I need. That's 112. I need to hit 112. I think I can, yeah, I don't even, I don't need to sacrifice too much for that. We'll go with an adamant nature in that case. Get as much damage as I can. Did not mean for that. 31 adamant nature, 252. Uh, as for the bulk, I would enjoy it if, hold on. Let me, let me get these boys out real quick. So Excadrill. Tyranitar. Those two are given. I'm also thinking Mandibuzz. It gives me a little bit of a fairy weakness. Like three things on my team are weak to fairy, so maybe actually hold up. Corviknight. Cool. I'm liking it so far. Phalanx Corviknight. It's two warriors. Alright, so. Uh, as for this, let me get my damage calc up. All the links to everything I'm using is in the description down below, by the way. It's under the useful links section. Uh, something I would like for my Phalanx to do. Get Phalanx up. I have 132 speed, Adamant Nature. Just putting this in so I can figure out where to put the rest of my EVs. Adamant. I already forgot. 132. Yeah. <laughs> I have a horrible memory. So I have 126 EVs to play with. Um, let me get up, not VGC stats, uh, Picolytics. So Picolytics is a really fun resource. It'll help you figure out what's being used in the metagame right now. So as you can see in VGC 2020, uh, some of the top used Pokemon are Dragapult, Arcanine, and Excadrill, as well as Corviknight, Tyranitar, and Rotom Wash. So with my moveset here, I'm definitely going to want no retreat. Uh, I'm tempted to go with substitute. Let me think. So no retreat. Facade would be amazing tech if I get burns, but I don't think I want to risk that. Uh, close combat is going to be really cool. I don't really need my defenses. It's more about the speed and attack. Um, Poison jab for the fairies. And it'd be really cool if at plus one I could Oko popular fairy type Pokemon like Sylveon. Can I Oko Sylveon at plus one as well as Hatterene? Let me do this calc. Sylveon. Poison jab. Admit Poison Jab at plus one. Probably not KOing Sylveon. Probably not. I could try with a I could try a Life Orb set. That would be kind of cool. Life Orb Sylveon. Or Life Orb uh Life Orb Phalanx could put in work. I might do that. I go with like Sash on you. I'm liking this. I'm actually kinda liking this. Let's go with the Life Orb. And probably protect, but I also I'm really tempted to go with substitute. 
rock sled too. I think I'm gonna go with that rock sled. Or no, do I even need to worry about Sylveon really? I don't think I do. I mean, I have this guy to cover it. Let me let me get this guy going. I'll figure it out in a second. Uh, I'm just going with the standard set, Jolly. Probably Jolly Sash. Sand Rush, Iron Head, Drill Run, Protect, Rock Slide. I could also go with Earthquake. The Drill Run's such such a good attack. It's just it it's just that it can miss is the only downside. But Drill Run is gonna be stronger than Earthquake. I guess I do have Corviknight too. I don't know. How are people running Tyranitar? I'd like to imagine it's like a salt vest at the moment. I just want to get an idea. No data on items. Well, that's not that great. Um, Assault Vest wouldn't be bad. I definitely need something to cover... Um, I need something to cover Ferrothorn, so maybe I'll go with, like, Fire Blast. I'd go with, like, an Assault Vest Fire Blast set. Make it so it can live a hit from Sylveon. Because we, we do have a bit of a fairy weakness. And then again... Not really, because we have Corviknight. Tailwind. I'm like building this in pieces. I'm like, it's, it's weird. How I team build, I like to I like to team build in pieces and then sort of bring it together at the end. Let me get the rest of these Pokemon first. So Excadrill, Phalanx, Corviknight, and Intimidator is not a bad idea. Our options here are kind of limited. Uh, I'm tempted to go Hitmontop. The reason being is Hitmontop is it's able to click fake out, right? But it's also able to click wide guard to protect uh, my team from earthquakes and rock slides. The only thing is, um, I really don't want that big fairy weakness. That's that's another Pokemon that's weak to fairies, and it's not that great. Arcanine is also an option, but I do have a ground weakness too. I think I'd rather have that fairy weakness than the ground weakness, so I will go with Hitmontop here. And let's go with an Assault Vest set. Take out, or not, not Assault Vest. Because I need Wide Guard. Take out, Wide Guard, Faint, and Close Combat, probably. Thinking Leftover's my best bet. Yeah, and we'll figure it out in a minute. Your Assault Vest. Um, let me see this. Tyranitar. I'd like it if Fire Blast Kidoko Ferrothorn. Because he does have a usable, he has a usable um, special attack stat. Fire Blast. This is more physical defense, or this is more of an offensive spread, but it's still sassy, so it's a good place to start. Yikes, that does like nothing. Oh, then again, I am Jolly. So I guess, um, what would I even run? Probably like a minus defense. Actually, a tough one. Um, plus special defense, minus defense is like awful, is the thing. Maybe I don't run Fire Blast and I just get a Fire type on this team. I could run Karkle, but that's just mm, not good. Rotom Heat doesn't sound bad. I think I'm going to run Rotom Heat. It's really reliable. It's a ground immunity, so I get that too. It's also a fairy. It's also a fairy resistance. So I think this is what I'm. I think this is what I'm going to go with. Um, let's give you a. I think I'm just going to run the same set I did last time. It's a nice offensive set with a bit of bulk, or a nice bulky offensive set. Go with uh, Bolt Switch, Will O Wisp, Overheat. Protect Citrus Berry. I like you. Not sure what your spread is going to be yet. We got you covered. Um, maybe instead of a Life Orb on you. I know you're going to want Leftovers. It's actually tough. Corviknight does so well with Leftovers. Um... I don't think I want to run a bulk upset, but I feel like it's too good. 
I think I'll do that. And then just Brave Bird is stab. I think that's I don't think that's too bad. I am missing a lot of protect on my team, aren't I? I guess we'll go a little bit bulkier than than offensive. And bulk up's just so good. I could go special defense and bulk up. It'd be cool if I could live uh, an overheat from Rotom, but I don't think that's I don't know if that's possible. Let's build this Corviknight. I don't really need to worry about um uh Arcanine because I am gonna be reflecting that intimidate, so I won't get knocked out by uh flare blitz in most situations. Overheat stealing a lot, yikes. Okay, so we're probably gonna want a careful nature, I believe. Yeah, careful. I'm gonna go ahead and go with max HP for the time being. Just enough for one, I think. Nice. Uh, a bit of speed isn't that bad either, but what am I gonna want to outspeed in this metagame? Sylveon isn't really a threat. I don't think there's much I want to outspeed. I guess outspeeding Aegislash wouldn't be a bad idea, but I think I already do that naturally. So I'm kind of fine with no speed investment. I think I'm fine. And if I can live a, a Rotom Overheat, I can live a Thunderbolt too, so that's nice. Um, I might even go with like a Berry here, since I'm going to be going down a lot of health anyways. Hmm. This is a tough one. Like, uh, now that pinch berries aren't that good, you can't really spam them. And I really, I really want the assault vest, but I'm lacking protect then. Especially if I go with substitute. I'm thinking, I'm thinking leftovers to play for a Corviknight. Especially when I can use Excadrill to scare out Rotom. Or not Rotom, but, uh... Tyranitar to scout Rotom. Let's do this. Go with Rock Slide, Assurance. Assurance is actually really nice for this. Um, can't run Taunt. What's my best move here? Rock Slide, Assurance. It's breaking swipe. So I can run a little bit of speed on that. I'm honestly thinking an ice move isn't that bad to beat dragon types. Yeah, I'm not sure. I could drop rock slide on you actually. Go protect. That should do it for you. Hmm. I, I'm really I'm really broken on this on this last move. I'm I'm not sure what I want to run. Fire punch isn't that bad, but I feel like fire blast might do more. Also my spread. Uh it'd be nice. About speed, zero speed Corviknight. That would be eighty seven. Just so I can drop rock slides on them. Or probably just four speed Corviknight, so 88. Pretty sure that's what you can. You can't just jump straight to 89 on them. 88 speed. Adamant nature. Max attack. I would like it if at minus one I could live a drill run. See if that's possible. A Ranitar. Two oh four. Oh, it's superpower. I think that's nice all around. I, 
can beat opposing Tyranitar too. So, um, should I run low kick? Low kick does decent amounts to everything. Conflicted. Do even get low kick this gen? He does. I think I'll go superpower though. I can also, I might be able to revenge kill Excadrill with that if I can live a hit. Excadrill, Adamant, Iron Head, Drill Run. At minus one though, I am living those as long as they don't get a crit or flinch me. So I think I like that. Not really invest too much. Special defense stat, anyways. Yeah, I think I'm fine with that spread. Corviknight is Corviknight and Hitmontop are really all we need to work on right now. The so Corviknight, what do I want you to live again? I already forgot what I needed to live, Rotom. Uh, let me run. Four speed in you, really quick. <laughs> so, probably should have filled that out first. Rotom Heat. Rotom Heat's pretty popular at the moment, as you can see here. He is right up here. 11% usage. Careful. It's going to take quite a bit. Not all, my god. I can also just put the rest one in four in speed and the rest in attack. Twenty-eight. Special defensive doesn't sound bad at all. Eight. That. That doesn't sound bad at all, really. Um. Careful nature. Do I really want bulk up? I mean, I guess I guess I do. Let me count my protects, because protect is really important. One protect, two protect, three protect. I should really have protect on you. I really should. Yeah. Uh, but roost is also just so nice. Is there anything else I should be running on you? Like, is there something I'm really overlooking? Hmm. I'm thinking Roost is, is going to be nice. But I really like Protect, because then I... I really don't like having a team where I don't have Protect on, like, more than two Pokemon, is the issue. I, like, that's all I'm conflicted about. I guess we can adjust it as we go. So we'll, we'll stick with this for now. We'll stick with this. But for all I know, Roost is going to be the play over Protector, possibly even Substitute. So Hitmontop is the only one we need to worry about now. Check this out. Hitmontop, I usually just run like a really specially defensive set. Maybe just max HP. Let's see. I would like it to live... What do I want it to live? Um, you know, I don't even need to worry about you too much, do I, man? I'd like it if you were offensive. <laughs> yeah, I honestly, like, it. that might just be the best set. <laughs> so leftovers are on these guys. I have an Assault Vest. Can't really put a Citrus Berry on you. Life Orb doesn't seem right, especially since I have it on Phalanx over here. See, that's the issue. Now that pinch berries are garbage, it's kind of hard to find an item for him. I could... Hmm. I could try the figgy berry. It doesn't seem that great. go with figgy berry i might be able to make it work all right 
Let's try it out. Let's get some games in. Battle Stadium doubles. Make sure everything's set up. I'm not forgetting an ability or something. Defiant, Sand Rush, Sand Stream, Mirror Armor, Intimidate, Levitate. All of your sets are right. All of your natures seem about right. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Sorry if I took so long. Like, I took so long to build that. Like, I just didn't want to have it be complete garbage. Which, for all I know, it is. So it does have an Intimidator here. Togekiss is going to be so annoying to deal with. Um, but if I get a Tailwind up, I'm not too concerned. I could lead off... I could lead off Tyranitar Excadrill. Corviknight seems really, really clean for the endgame. As long as I don't see that thing. Yeah, Phalanx is going to have to sit in the back for now. I think I'm just going to lead off with Sand, bring Corviknight in the back, and Rotom. I feel like that's my best bet, because I... You literally cannot afford to not bring Rotom Heat versus <laughs> versus this monster right here. Like it's just gonna be it's just bad news if you do. Or if you don't. If you just forget about it. Can't afford to do that. Sorry if you hear a dog barking at home right now. He makes his move soon. But, um, yeah, I'm hoping that, so, fun fact, fun fact. So I had to completely reset my cartridge of Pokemon Sword and Shield because it was, because the servers like shadow banned me after the servers were down, right? And because the servers were down, they kept disconnecting me. So after getting disconnected like seven times, I got shadow banned. So I couldn't play Battle Spot doubles. Like it, it would just like say that there was no one online for me to play with. Looking at this, uh, I'd say he's gonna Dynamax. He's gonna he's definitely gonna Dynamax this turn to avoid getting KO'd outright. I could try. I can't really let Haxorus get away with this turn. I'm gonna go for the for the rock slide and I'm gonna assurance into the Haxorus. That might KO. Ooh, okay. He has the earthquake off. Should live it. Assurance is gonna do a bit. Um I think right here my play is to protect and switch in my Corviknight. Or I could just go for a double. I think my play is to go for the double. He's going to go for that again, which he should. And even if you don't, I, I never watched your stuff, but I think I've seen you on YouTube before. Yeah, that me. <laughs> Bad Poketuber. Okay. So this double switch is going to be really nice. He should go for it again. There's the Earthquake. So now, I actually have a really nice turn here because I can go for a bulk up. He doesn't really have any special attackers that threaten me except for his Rotom. And I can try to go for a Will-O-Wisp. I'm not really concerned about a Tailwind here. And if he decides to follow me again, I'm actually not in a bad spot. Nah, I'm sure you're legit. Haha, <laughs> I'll watch you. Ah, oh, shucks. Thanks, man. Look at that. People do care. People do care that I do stuff on YouTube. Alright. So, uh, as for switches he could make here, I don't think it makes sense for him to go into anything except for uh, possibly the Arcanine to get a Flare Blitz off, but I think he'll also recognize that that play would end in his Arcanine getting intimidated. Let's hope. Let's hope that <laughs> this works out for me. Uh, the follow me would make sense. I don't think Togekiss carries Thunderbolt right now. I'm pretty sure the standard set is follow me, air slash, tailwind, and dazzling gleam. So there's the Arcanine. This is actually a really nice play. 
Because I can burn him for free right here. There's the max knuckle. As long as I land this, I'm in a good spot. There we go. Alright, nice. There's my bulk up. So, fun fact, it only reflects it back to the Arcanine. I think right here, I'll... I think I should Tailwind up. Just go for the Volt Switch on you. It's not going to KO. It's going to give me my Berry. Oh, I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Ooh! That's not good for him. And I feel bad. Excadrill comes in for free. I can go for the... I think my play is max... Not max guard. Crap. Uh, I think my play is going to be to Dynamax max airstream into the Haxorus. And go for this drill run into the Arcanine. If he switches out into Togekick, it's Togekick. Togekiss, it's whatever. Extreme speed is going to pick up the KO. But I'm still, I'm still not really scared of the Arcanine. Because I do have my... um. I do have my boy Tyranitar in the back right now. Orb Knight's honestly looking like kind of a threat right now. <laughs> Mirror Armor is a really nice ability. It'd be nice if it reflected it to both of my opponents, but I understand why it doesn't. That would be so busted. Uh, I think here I just Rock Slide and Max Guard. Is the Hydro Pump miss? I, I feel bad, man. I feel bad. Go for this Max Airstream. I think it doesn't matter if he... I think it doesn't matter if he burns me anymore because I, I just beat his whole team. So I'm going to go for the Assurance for the Guaranteed KO. Max Airstream and do Assurance should do it. As long as he doesn't protect. His last move should be Flare Blitz, if he's running Will-O-Wisp Extreme Speed Protect. Goes for the double. But this Assurance should definitely get the KO. And with the plus one speed, I should always outspeed the Togekick. Togekick. Togekiss. Uh, so I should be fine. Let me go for the Brave Bird to the Arcanine to play it safe. As well as a Rock Slide. Gee, sorry about misses. I'm just going to type that in. I might be wrong. I might just lose right here. I'm going to keep that typed. I don't like sending it before. It. No, I won. Alright, cool. So, I actually like the way that worked out. Uh, Corviknight, I didn't expect to put in as much work as it did. Um, I'll wait for him to... Yeah, I haven't been running the move. GG. Alright, good sport. Good sport. I appreciate that. Because I know, like, I can get salty when I'm playing the game. I'll miss a Will-O-Wisp, but you kind of have to understand, like, if you're running the move, it's on you if you miss it. Uh, unless we get into, like, evasion, then that's when that's when it's out of your hands, and it's just annoying. Yeah, I'm liking the way this is looking. I feel like this is such a good matchup, to be honest. I feel like this is such a good matchup. Uh, he doesn't have any Intimidators, so I don't see a point in Phalanx. Especially when you got that thing right there. Corviknight's looking really clean. I am a sub. Oh, hey. I actually really appreciate that. People know me. That's two in a row. That's, like, never happened. Uh, let me think. So, Braviary is just, like, a red flag. Do not bring Intimidate. <laughs> uh, I'll lead off Rotom. Rotom seems really nice. I can burn you, burn you. Uh, I need to be careful with you, though. You are going to be an issue. Because you can set up Trick Room. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe lead off Sand. Rotom in the back. And Corviknight again. Wow. Okay. How original. How original. I'm bringing Sand, Corviknight. <laughs> I, I really wanted to like face some heavy intimidating teams so Phalanx could put in work. But if Corviknight's still on the show, so be it. I'm 
I'm thinking like my upload schedule for the next week is gonna go moveset guide, team builder, showdown live with that team. And like that's just like the cycle. I'm thinking that's how I'm gonna go about it. And the showdown live with the team is usually gonna be like three battles, but uh, probably only two for the team builder. So this might be the last one, depending on how quickly it goes. Ooh, okay, Sand Rush. <laughs> I, I don't like that you just got that. I really don't. But uh, I'm thinking my play here is just Rock Slide and Assurance into the Gardevoir to get that KO. But uh, should I fear the Braviary right now? Braviary might Dynamax. Braviary has every right to Dynamax right now to prevent a flinch because it can live the hit then. So I'm thinking my play here is maybe Dynamax myself and go for that Max Rock Ball. Or even the max steel spike and go hard into Corviknight. I'm thinking that. I can boost Corviknight's defense. So I'll steel spike into the Guard of War and go into Corviknight here. There's the Dynamax. Okay. Not what I expected it to be, but. Ooh! Gonna lower that damage. Next one should KO. There's the Starfall doing absolutely nothing. There's the Superpower. Gonna be able to live it. I'm thinking my next Steel Spike should definitely be into Braviary, and I can set up a bulk up right here. I can set up a bulk up for free. Because Steel Spike should KO from this range. And this is just making Corviknight absolutely insane. I almost wish I was running Power Trip, but the Tailwind is pretty necessary. Yeah, it's no wonder Excadrill is such a good Pokemon, and why it's being used so often. I actually uh, put on my community tab this morning. Hey, look at this usage. Like, look at these usage stats from this uh, unofficial tournament. And like, sure enough, Excadrill was number one. Well, it's funny because uh, in like you know in here, Dragapult's number one, Excadrill's number three. But uh, this is just general online play. I guess you know people who are going to compete in an online tournament probably know what they want to run and they've want to run what's reliable, where people on Showdown want to run what's fun, and I definitely think that, <laughs> I definitely think that, um, Dragapult's a bit more fun, but we do get the free KO on the Corvin, not on the Corvin, on the Hatterene, so I don't need to deal with it, and I get a plus one on my attack and defense, so if there is a, if there is a Torkoal in the back, our play is always to double into it next turn. And what's that last Pokemon again? Alright, there's the Torkoal. I'm really hoping he doesn't, uh, Max Quake you and go for this Brave Bird. Really hoping you don't have Trick Room on this Gardevoir. I don't think you do. I don't think you do, but I can just go into Tyranitar next turn if I need to. He also can't protect from this. Uh, because it's a max move. That's fine. I get the plus one special defense. Mindstorm's gonna do a bit. But, uh, yeah, no... No, uh, Trick Room. That's nice. Actually, I guess he couldn't Trick Room because he was Dynamax, so I had no reason to fear. I keep forgetting that. Let me go for this Brave Bird. I don't think he can take both of these unless I miss. That's fine. Brave Bird's doing a chunk. There's the Trick Room. Okay. Okay. I think my win cons Rotom or Tyranitar at the moment. Um, I don't really need you to win, do I? I can switch in my Rotom here. Ah, because Rotom go for, can go for that Thunderbolt. How do I play this? Because I don't want to take a superpower. I think I'm slower than Bravery right now, so I'm fine. Let me go for this Rock Slide. And I think I always go for the Brave Bird into Bravery as well. So I shouldn't be able to lose to just Torkoal. And I think I just stall out the remainder for the remaining turns. Double protect. Eruption doing nothing. The Dazzling Gleam doing nothing. Double out here. the eruption it's gonna do garbage damage to tyranitar oh my god tyranitar might just win right now let me let me do this 
Uh, I'm just going to Volt Switch on you, and I'm going to go for the Rock Sled. <laughs> I, I don't even care anymore. I'm not concerned about Torkoal. It's a non-issue. I mean, we haven't seen all of uh, all of Gardevoir's moves. For all we know, it's got Sunny Day. All right, GG. Well played. All right, nice. Like, that was a scary team. That was a really scary team. Uh, I haven't seen Trick Room Gardevoir yet in the metagame, but uh, I, I knew it had the potential to do it. Yeah, uh, I think that's going to be it for this team building session, guys. I'll try to get a showdown live with it up probably tomorrow or the day after. Like, just three more games for you guys. But with that, I'm going to call it. Everyone have a nice night. Thank you for watching. Uh, social media links in the description, my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord, everything. Uh, but yeah, with that, have a nice night, guys. I'll see you in the next video.